Hello, nice of you to join me again. Uh, I assume that you watched uh, numerous videos that I have about um, Blender Cam. So uh, right now we're going to talk about um, the medial axis strategy. Now medial axis is mostly used uh, on a V cutter. Uh, actually at the moment I think only the V cutter works. Um, might be able to use a ball and cutter a little later on but this is not there uh, so what can it do well I, I uh, uh, made a text so this is text here made some text just one two three uh, the size is uh, 152 millimeters so what we need for medial is the um, uh, v-bit so we choose the v-carve as the cutter uh, we'll choose a 90 degree at for for this um, exercise uh, we'll be able to see a little better uh, and also the um, the depth and this is the operation depth is going to start at uh, zero and is going to end at 15 uh, millimeter so um, also uh, other settings that I've set were um, the materials and size estimate from model with uh, around uh, 10 millimeter this is just for simulation all right so let's see um, if we can calculate it uh, so we select the text as the object that we want to do medial and so we'll just calculate so for a small curve like this uh, it's relatively painless it's not very long um, as you can see the path uh, was nice uh, it's going down in a medial in the middle so uh, we'll simulate this operation and see take the text out and simulate the operation see what oh I guess we can't do that I don't want to do it it needs the text All right. uh, what? estimate from model that was taken out estimate from model cat late exports there we go and now I make the text disappear and I will make the path disappear so yeah right now we have um, the, a nice v-carve of the uh, of the original so let's see what the original looked like so it looks just like the original and there are a few things here where the uh, where the path was a little wider than what the bit could do so you, there's two things you can do. You can uh, get um, a bit with a wider angle, um, let's say 120 degrees. Uh, but um, we have another option in medial, and that is uh, it can generate its own pocket operation, thanks to uh, Mohammed, who worked on that from Egypt. Hi, Mohammed. So. Uh, Let's say, um, where is it in medial? Add pocket operation. So we'll do that. And so we'll calculate it again. And should add me a pocket operation. Okay, so I have an operation called pocket, but I also have uh, text offset, which is a curve for my pocket. 
Um, so this is the name of the of uh, the pocket right now. And if I choose to uh, use the V carve, I can do a pocket with the V carve inside there. Uh, or I can use um, uh, a flat um, end mill to uh, do the pocket inside. So uh, right now we'll just use a flat end mill. We'll see what happens there. Um, it is an end mill. Uh, I have a 3.175 millimeter. And uh, let's see what the pockets. If you need help on the pocket operations, I have a video for that. Um, distance between the path, uh, one millimeter should be okay. So we'll just uh, make a new chain, or oh, oh, we can calculate here and export. Right, uh, so I'll we'll just make a new chain and uh, use medial and pocket, and we can simulate the whole chain and see what happens. Right, so we take out the original text, take out the medial, so as you can see the inside of the of the um, of the uh, of the V carve has been cleaned out. There is a little bit of residue here. And so maybe that can be addressed at a later date, maybe with a um, smaller cutter, or even uh, if you used a, a small diameter V bit, you could uh, clean that out. Or you can make believe that you're using a, a small cutter. In any event, it makes a very nice um, finished product. Now, what there's another um, thing that we can do with that. So let's uh, just remove the simulation, remove the path here, and remove the other path. And um, so I'll remove both paths. So I'll uh, light up the uh, rectangle choose this one and this one and I will use a curve boolean and uh, make a difference. So I should be able to remove these. So now I have the reverse. I subtracted the uh, one, two, three from this. So let's make uh, the same thing and see what happens. Uh, so everything else was deleted. We don't need the text. Yeah, so ready to go. So we calculate this. It should be a little bit longer to calculate. Oh, not too bad. Uh, oh, it's the wrong thing. Yeah, of course. So, uh, right. So we need now to uh, delete this and hide this. Right. So I have to uh, change with two boolean here and here. I have to change. Well, the text offset should be the same. So we're going to fix that to make it a fixed name. Um, so calculate this, and it should uh, calculate my pocket as well. So it's not the fastest operation, so for so for very long things it might be a little uh, more tricky. So here we go, that's the path. Um, let's 
Let's see what happens in the simulation. Okay, so it looks really good. Uh, if we had some pockets, uh, they would look even better. Let's see what happens with the pockets. We need to recalculate, I think. I think uh, Mohammed made it, so we have to change the no diameter is okay. Um, Pocket two and did it generate? Yeah, I don't know. Did it generate automatically? Pocket pocket to curve. Oh, pocket to curve gets removed automatically. That's the problem. Add pocket operation gets removed automatically. Right, so try it again. It's working away. Right, so I think we have the pocket now. Now, boolean offset, that's what it is. All right, so I need to, uh, pocket two is bad here, so now I need pocket three, pocket two, and So I um, can simulate the chain. Uh, I don't use this operation very often, so I'm learning as much uh, just by doing here. There are a few things that I would change myself, so I'm going to change in the code and it may not work the same in a few days. Right, so let's see if we can remove the simulation. And right, so that's the path for the pockets. What about the simulation? Oh, we didn't simulate the chain again, or yet. Right, so the uh, as you can see, we have a nice um, carving of the uh, original curve that we had. Uh, it looks very nice. I'll just remove the path here so we can see. There you go, and oh, I can remove the original um, there, and. the original bullion is here. Well, we can see how f good or how, how it followed the curve. So the original curve is here. So it followed pretty well. Uh, we can see a little bit of uh, uh, unability to, uh, to cut inside here. And that's okay. Uh, this could be uh, probably mitigated by um, enlarging the um, the uh, 
clearing. So all in all, this is a function that for simple curves um, can work really well. It gets really slow though uh, if we're using a very large um, large curve. Uh, so it, it gets uh, it may not be the best tool for doing simple curve. But if you want to do something uh, that changes and uh, is completely in Blender, uh, then of course this is a, a great tool and uh, some improvements to be made, but we'll uh, see to it. Again, um, we're available on the uh, Matrix chat and uh, channel Blender Cam. And we have a lot of uh, people come drop by, say hello, how they li like something, but mostly how something is broken or they can't make it work. So we try to help uh, these people. Uh, we are a small group of developers who are uh, improving Blender Cam and making things workable and improving upon it to make, uh, make it work in a special way. So uh, thanks a lot to everybody helping us out. Uh, and if you want to see more of this, you can, uh, of course, like and subscribe. Subscribing would uh, give you a notification when I put out a new video. Uh, thank you very much and have a great day.